Hey guys, Pastor Brandon here, and we are in day two of our four cup series. We're looking at how the Passover has four cups to remember God's promises. In Acts chapter 13, we read in verse 47, for so the Lord has commanded us saying, I've made you to be a light for the Gentiles that you may bring salvation to the ends of the earth. The Messiah came through the race of Israel, of God's promise to Abraham. Isn't that amazing and a humbling thought that without the Jewish people, we wouldn't have the Messiah, we wouldn't have a savior. And God revealed himself to Abraham, to Isaac, to Jacob, and he brought Joseph down so he could reveal himself to Moses and then rescue his people to foreshadow the Messiah, the savior of the world, our savior who would come. In John chapter eight, verse 32, we read, as we highlight our second cup here, that you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free, that our Messiah delivers us. Our Tuesday cup is that God says, I will set you free. I'll deliver you from slavery. I will set you free from this slavery that you wanna serve other gods in, in this culture and, and you're living to worship the gods of the Egyptians. I'm gonna deliver you. And that's where the Messiah delivers us and sets us free from being slaves. And we. We read in, in Romans chapter six that we are slaves to sin and that we need a savior that would come and set us free from our slavery to sin. And there's this bondage we have to our flesh and this, this desire to, to really be a slave to sin. And all we wanna do is, is serve that desire. It doesn't matter if we grew up in a Christian church with Christian parents, in a Christian home. Maybe we went to Iwana and memorized our Bible. It does not, none of those things matter unless you trust in Jesus to be your savior, your deliverer from your sin, who would set you free from sin. And we read in, in Romans chapter five, verse nine, that he came to set us free from sin. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, Paul saying, this is the gospel I delivered to you, that he died on the cross, was buried and rose again three days later. This is the gospel. And Jesus himself said in John 14, verse six, I'm the way, the truth and the life, and no one comes to the father, but through me. And even in the story of Passover itself, the children of Israel could not have been saved. It wasn't a matter of their status if they were an Israelite or not. It was a matter if they obeyed God's word and they put that Passover lamb's blood over their doorpost. The Jewish people were still under God's judgment. And Romans 1.16 says that I'm not ashamed of the gospel for it is the power of God for salvation for everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. And so today, may we have that urgency to share the gospel that we've been set free from sin as we reflect and remember that promise that God made to Israel, I will deliver you from the slavery. I will set you free. We'll see you guys tomorrow. God bless.